previously on Daily Bread. Don't you hate it when I'm right? That's the moment of truth. You know what? I want any of our cars start. Right? My laptop's dead too. Hey, please! You would say solar flare. You need to know things are gonna get ugly pretty quick. Uh, who are you? was snoring all night. Hey, I'm Greek, okay? I got the nose. Yeah, I hear it helps if you sleep at an angle. I hear it helps if you sleep in another country. Look at Nicole, not a word sleeping like a baby. Yeah, I couldn't sleep all night with your snoring. Because what makes you think it was me? It was in Greek. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. I have a wonderful breakfast planned for everyone. Oh, coffee? Of course there's coffee. Breakfast should be ready in a few minutes. Hey, buddy, we're all in this together. We need food. And besides, you can't shoot us all. Put that thing away before you hurt someone. These are our neighbors, for goodness sakes. Uh, oh, thank you. Back it up, back right. it up. Okay, come on in, right, come on, right. sweetie. Mm, it smells good in here, too. Is that the gossip? It is. I know it's a little rustic, but you know, it's coffee we will make. How have you been timing the cooking? Um, you know what, honestly, I've just kind of been winging it, but um, at least we have gas ovens and stoves, so. Can you get some help? No, I'm good. Hey. Cool. Do we have some creamer? No. No, we don't. That's good. You have some creamer? 
No. Where's she going? I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, she's probably going to the lake to get water to drink or pour into the toilets. What a dilemma. How do you do this? I will pay for someone to do that. Yeah? Do you take cash or credit? I think we're more on a barter system now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The ATMs. They would be working. Okay, are we done with the economics 101? The whole point is that I don't want to do it. Then you won't be drinking. And if you're not drinking, I guess you won't be peeing either. Hmm. Smarter then. Well, what do you have that we need? Personality. Oh, wait. You already part of that. Can you be serious for like once in your life? Yeah, I'm seriously concerned that you're not gonna survive if you don't get water like the rest of us. There, a little compassion, how would I do? Whatever. Tiffany, you have a bucket so I can take a bath. Wait, why would you take a bath in a bucket? No, no, it's for the back of the toilet. Wait, I don't understand. Why would you put the buckets on the back of the toilet? No, you have to pour the water into the back of the toilet so you can flush it. <laughs> Wouldn't you just use the flushy thingy? You might as well just go outside and pee like you guys would if they were here. Wait. The guys. The guys were supposed to be here this weekend. Oh no, I'm sure it's okay. Needs needs strong. I'm sure they're already on their way. These cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Just gonna check on them. I just can't get this timing down. Don't anyone touch this bucket, okay? I uh, think what she means is try and respect everyone's space. Um, it's a long hike to the lake, so you're all gonna get your own buckets. All right. Set up all the rest of the rain catchers just like this one, like we planned. Yes, sir. And spread the word about water use. Do all your washing downstream from the falls. Okay. We'll check purity today. We'll check it every day after. We don't know what's going on upstream. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now let's get to it. All right. All right. Hey, Ma. Hey. The cisterns by the barn are in good shape. Oh. Um, we need to monitor them, though. I mean, the horses will need water. We need to get the seed started inside. How's the pantry looking? Well, with what I just put up, we're in good shape for a while. Okay. How long will it take? Uh, I don't know. Ancient Romans figured out a way to get the water from the mountains to the cities. You know, some of the aqueducts still work. Yeah, gravity is like that. The mountains are high and the cities are low. Here, the house is high and the lakes are low. No, 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 it's a simple pumping system. It's pretty basic. I guess I can't shoot all of you. But I can't feed everyone either. It's all gonna get taken away anyway. I might as well give it to the people I choose. Probably gonna be the last choice I get to make for a while. All right, let's do this orderly. Who's got the longest trip back home? Oh, come on. My sister and her husband live on the Virginia and North Carolina border. I, I don't remember the town, but it will take days. They live five hour drive from DC. Well, since the freezers are out, we are going to be having some incredible meals this week. Oh, well, Sydney and I are going to set the coolers outside. 
Oh, you better bid for this. Oh, no, I can't do that. It's a good call. Whoa, 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 wait. No one said anything about bears. When did we get bears? Who has had them? You still don't want to food up with them. You'll be too high. It's just great. OK, I've come here a dozen times, and uh, no one has mentioned a word about a bear. OK, OK. Uh, it, it's really, it's no big deal. for me. Um, hey, Sandy. When you guys were out uh, coolers earlier, did you see any frozen bread? I'm thinking about making a bread pudding for dessert tonight. Eight ounces. When I was writing Tiffany's book, I added a calorie chart to help people lose weight and stay healthy. Now, it seems it'll be used to help us stay alive. All those years counting calories as though they were our enemy. And now, we need to count on them to survive. So basically, every pound is 3,500 calories. So if you ordinarily take in 1,800 calories and you cut it down to, say, 1,500 calories, then, according to my calculations, you will lose a pound every 12 days. Do you know how long I've been trying to lose 20 pounds? Guys, this could be a real good thing. Well, that is why I chose these three ingredients for my plan. Okay, so, four ounces of rice. Listen, you gotta pack light. You're gonna need protein. No bread, it's empty calories. Nothing you gotta cook, it's gonna slow you down. Now come on back here. We'll get you set up. The only thing I ask of you is pass it on. Help out whoever you can. And like he said, boom, this is together. 400 calories and 9 grams of protein, which is about 20% of our protein requirement for the day. Uh, 8 ounces of beans is 330 calories and 14 grams of and eight ounces or one cup of yellow cornmeal is 450 calories and 10 grams of protein. Okay, so what you're saying is that there's cornmeal, beans, and rice, and that's it. Take your pick. Plus we have the chickens and the dairy cow and the greenhouse. So how much time do we have? Well, okay, so that's 1,200 calories and 33 grams of protein. Add the eggs and the milk and we're all good. Yep, again why I chose those ingredients. That's my point. What's your point? That we'll die eventually? You sound like you've never seen a show before. It's on the book. OK, you guys, just think of this as a break from reality. I mean, it's just the seven of us. Everything is going to be just fine. It's like a spa. <laughs> Trust me, this is what I do. And it's all in the book, too, if you guys want to look there. <laughs> Water, you got to stay hydrated. Protein, plenty of protein. Candy bars, they're quick, they're energy efficient. Thank you. You be careful out there, you understand? Right? You move with the others. You don't go off on your own. We got a daughter about your age. I sure hope someone's helping her. Thank you. What do you think this is? I know exactly what it is. It's an EMP. But by the way of the sky last night, the way it looked, this wasn't man-made. This is something much bigger. You know, I, I, I just I saw this on a, on a show the other night. Uh, well, they said that an event like this, well, you know, it could take us back to the dark ages. It's just electricity. Mankind's done without it before. It's no different than what our parents or grandparents had to live with. We just have to keep our heads. Will it ever come back on? we are more organized than this. Yeah, it's more important now than ever to be taking good inventory. <laughs> there is a silver lining in all of this. Okay. The I told you so at the end of this rainbow. 
Did you call me? Oh. <laughs> Rainbow. No, I'm just thinking about my sister Holly. Good thoughts, I hope. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, but it does feel good. I... But you're right. I told her she would be an appetizer if she didn't take this seriously. If you take it all away from me, we give it all back to her. Will you sit me down like Job and give me a talk or two? Or to kneel down and resuscitate if I was turning blue, or would you smile at me because you've already been? To my bag of waters and lift me out by my heels. Draw me up from my bed, screaming, I'm wanting to be born again. Running back of my How long do you think it's actually going to be until we have to worry about something like that? Probably not long. They're doing what we're doing. Well, based on what we've heard and seen, things are going to start moving fast. We have to be ready. What do you suggest? Ready for what? Ready for people who need what we have and they won't stop. They won't ask anything. They'll just come and take it. We're so isolated out here, though. I mean, the cars aren't even working. We don't know what or who's out there. Thor's right, we gotta be prepared. Tiffany, Dad gave you the combo to the gun room. I don't know. That seems really dangerous. I mean, someone could get really hurt. That someone could be us if we don't know how to protect ourselves. Are you helping or not? Of course I wanna help. I just, there has to be a better way. Tiffany, if you, know. just, if you give us the combination, we'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. Please? Okay. Thank you. I need your help. Coming, Dad. Hi, Betsy. Can you clean the barrels with that? Sure. Maybe I'll do it. Yep, exactly. I'm going to start loading these clips here. This is the magazine for the 9mm.
I'll be right back. Keep on. Hey, you need help with that? Let me show you. you. Put your thumb on here. Press down a little bit. And you slide it in just like that. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot of thumbs. <laughs> okay. Dan, I am not comfortable with them handling guns. I just think it's too dangerous. Mom, from what I've seen in her, that's all we have now is danger. We have to be ready. All right, that's good. Now, kids, show me which guns take the nine millimeter. That's good. That's good, Adam. That's a little slow. Good job, Brandon. Thanks, sir. Nice job, Otto. Thank you. Sir. All right, now you're gonna go out on the back. And you're gonna bust yourself some clays. Yes, sir. Yes, take sir. it out, ladies. All right, your weapons are for you. Check your weapons, magazines, on my mark. Mark! There are certain items you must have in your go bag. You should have a destination in mind if you are leaving a situation you can't survive in. Pack things like duct tape, plastic bags and Ziploc bags, waterproof matches, filterless cigarettes for bee stings, compass and map, cooking pan and utensils, line for fishing and hooks, bungee cords, flashlight and batteries stored separately, knife, gloves, space blanket, moleskin, Vaseline, antibiotics, rope, water bladder, and water purifying straw like from My Patriot Supply. Use it as needed so you don't have to carry gallons of water. One gallon of water is eight pounds. Purifying as you go saves weight. I have a good pair of boots and a gun that takes at least nine millimeter. Your bag should weigh about 25% of your body weight and no more than 30%. It's important to have enough food in your go bag to last at least two weeks. At a normal clip, you can walk two miles an hour. Pick it up to three and you can clear 30 miles in a day. Okay, Carol, I'm counting on DNA at this point. Get me home, sister.
I'm sorry, Star. It was three to one. Oh, you're free to go, of course. But we just think it's safer staying here. I want to stay. I hate this place. I'm hungry. I just want to go home. How are you feeling? Thank you. What's going on? I thought I heard yelling outside. Nothing is working. Everything is dead. Dead? What do you mean, dead? I mean, you missed it all. Um, the cars aren't working. All the cell phones are dead. All the lights are out. Someone said it might be an EMP. I don't even know anymore. Nothing is working. What are you gonna do? Well, I could try to stay here or try to walk home a thousand miles. I don't really have a lot of choices. I don't have any choices. Well, why don't you stay here? There are several others and we need to work together. It's gotten really bad out there. Have I been out that long? No, it, it hasn't been that long. It just happened and here we are. How are you feeling? Are you, are you okay to stand up? Mister? Oh my God, mister? Oh my God, are you okay? What happened? Where's your jacket? You must be freezing. Wait right there. No. Here. You need it. Please, please be safe. Oh my God. Oh my God. jacket and right in front of his house seriously you steal her bike hey help me get him inside We never think about how fragile life is until it impacts us. Things we used to stress over seem so irrelevant now. Even the flowers, perfect in the soil, were not good enough for the setting. What is perfect anymore? I guess it's up to each of us to reflect perfection, like the image of God.
could really use those as <laughs> weapons. Do you have any extra? <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> I didn't realize I was living so close to such <laughs> animals. They took everything. Well, I don't think it would have lasted that long with the fire. <laughs> I'm sorry about your dog, but I think we gotta get going. Yeah, well, maybe these people can teach him how to survive. Let's go. Fire's breaking out everywhere and the Sunny! crowd's looking antsy. I'm afraid to go home. Can we just go with you? Yeah, but it's best we get out of these populated areas. Yeah. If this is any indication. How many more rooms do we have to check? Well, everyone has left except the sorority girls, and I'm not sure how long they'll stay. So we should keep checking. Whoa! Who are you? I'm the environmental control officer. I work here. You mean the janitor? Yeah. OK, great. Come with us. Okay. Sorry. so quiet. I have never heard silence before. Hmm. What happened? Did you find anything? Anybody? Six neighbors, it's all the same. Nothing's working, everyone's affected. That means we're gonna have to supplement. We're gonna have to feed the chickens. Harold won't be able to get here. Yeah. Do you have a short rib radio or anything? Don't you need somebody on the other end? Oh, it's about frequency and finding a man that someone's on. I bet a lot of people are looking. Are you sure this is not just us? I mean, like, I don't want to end up like the Japanese soldier who didn't know that the war had been over for years. That's a good point. What if it was just us and the neighbors, like a direct hit? Why don't mind going out again, pushing a little further into the city? Why go looking for trouble? It's not trouble, Nora. It's answers. Well, what do you want to hear? It's all going to be back to normal in a week, a month, a year. Will that make everyone happy? OK, we have two issues. One is food, and the other is security. I think we're good on food, but I don't know anything about guns or security. Yeah, we're sitting ducks. Can we figure this out? OK. OK, Nora. You're the only one of us who understands any of this. What do you think? This is not a video game. This is reality. Our new reality. Well, I've shot skeet before, so I know how to handle a rifle. You should skeet with a shotgun. OK, that's a start. Do you have any? Oh, my God. <gasps> what was that?
What do you see? It's just a branch. Oh my gosh. Of all nights. We heard it because there's nothing else to hear. There's no other sounds competing with it. Mm -hmm. 